encouragement for anybody who's in ministry there uh, driving to my uh, life group so I'll be looking on the road but the this morning I read in Matthew chapter 20, uh, Matthew 16 it says Jesus says to Peter he said I will build my church and those words as a for a pastor I think for any church leader th this is a this is a game changer I will build my church number one our church doesn't belong to us man that changes everything because then we're no longer scared you know people leave uh, we don't have to punish them we don't have to uh, feel uh, personal and uh, if people come it's not ours it belongs to Jesus some churches are like cartels you know you can't get out uh, and if you leave they're gonna destroy you um, and so and, and pastors we you know we struggle with that because we feel like it's my church I mean how many times pastors said that um, you know my church and that's the whole problem is that you and I did not die for the church Jesus did and the Bible says that I will build my church and I really felt the Lord say today if you want me to build it you have to make this church my church meaning it's not your church it's my church it's Jesus's church and if it's his church he will build it and so practically speaking it's just honestly repenting of taking on the church as mine seeing it as my business as my career somehow my identity is tied to the ministry um, and so like mentally just adjusting and renewing our mind that my identity comes from the Lord it does not come from my ministry mentally saying to myself that I didn't die for the church I'm not coming back to the church I'm a servant and Jesus is uh, the bridegroom you know I think sometimes as pastors we are cheating on the Lord with the church you know Joseph got thrown into prison because Joseph was accused of sleeping with his master's wife you know <laughs> this might come off wrong by some people but please take it with a grain of salt uh, younger in my ministry when I was uh, earlier in my ministry there was a time when the Lord convicted me and he said Vlad he said you are you are sleeping with my bride you know he's like you are cheating on me with my bride he said church is my bride it's not yours and he said you have to learn to go to sleep and give the church to me I'm gonna take care of it it's my bride it's not yours you know you have a bride and it's Lana church is not your bride that means learn to turn things off learn to uh, disconnect learn to disappear learn to take a break learn to take a vacation learn to like I didn't preach for uh, five weeks in July and I'm trying to build a habit where once a year I take a month off from preaching and month off even from going to the office and it's difficult not gonna lie to you because I feel like you know it's this whole thing the church is mine and and we can be borderline cheating on the Lord with his bride it's his bride it's not our bride I will build my church so dear pastor if you're listening to this I want to remind you it's not your church and it's not yours to build it's not yours to grow now do you have do you and I have to do our part of course we gotta pray we gotta preach we gotta lead we gotta make disciples we gotta have board meetings we gotta you know take care of the finances we gotta take care of the need we gotta do our part we gotta work Joseph worked on Potiphar's house but he didn't sleep as with his wife and so we have to understand this is the Lord's house and we gotta we can't cheat we, we can't fall in love with the church we gotta stay in love with God and serve the church and remember even if you work at the church and it feels like man but you know like you don't understand I understand I'm a pastor I know what it's like you know when people start stop coming you know when giving goes down and you have you know people on the staff that you have to pay and, and bills you have to pay and stuff so when there's no momentum it's it takes a toll on you but that's where it could become an idolatry I will build my church our first commandment is to love God it's not to fall in love with the church and uh, and church is a vehicle that God will use to reach the world unfortunately we have turned the church into being the destination I said it on Sunday church is not a destination 
Church is a gas station where people encounter God. And so, and as pastors, we have to let Jesus build the church, God to grow the church. We water, we plant, let God build the church. And we have to take the pressure off and fall in love with God again. Spend time with Jesus for the sake of Jesus, not link our identity to our anointing, our ministry, how many people come, how many people get healed, how many, what, what their giving is. And it's like all of this stuff is great. All of that is God's grace, but our identity is in Jesus. Jesus loves us. Jesus died for us. The Holy Spirit lives in us. We have a citizenship in heaven. Uh, we're children of God. We're sons of light. We are a part of God's kingdom. Jesus is our king and we're part of the bride. And so like that is our identity and you know, preaching, uh, singing, leading a life group, um, successful ministry or not so fruitful ministry. That, that is not our identity. Our identity is in Jesus. And so I just want to leave you with these words and really just encourage you. Uh, whatever you are, if you're in ministry, um, don't make it your idol. Fall in love with Jesus and Jesus will build His church. He's going to do it with you or without you, but He will build His church. Let Him do it. Make it His church, not yours. And if you're constantly saying my church my church shame on you you should repent because it's not your church you didn't die for it Jesus did it belongs to Jesus uh, you have a family to build you have a wife to love or you have a husband to love you have children to raise focus on that and let God build his church God bless you and hope that was encouraging because it encouraged me today